Cool. Um, so yeah. Hi guys, this is Chris from the Raw Hacks. Uh, welcome to ClayMakers 2022 project demo sessions. Uh, before we officially start, um, a bit a uh, background intro. So ClayMaker is the flagship hackathon events in 2022 for Clayton ecosystems uh, to drive the growth of Clayton's developer communities and ecosystem adoptions. So uh, and and Clayton will Clayton team will provide ecosystem partnership and support directly to to some of the best uh, teams and projects that emerge from this hackathon. Uh, and also, it's a great pleasure for the Raw Hacks to support Clayton for the first time for such a great events. Uh, in the end uh, of the hackathon, we have received more than two hundred submissions in a two months period. And 174 teams uh, from those got verified at, at, as participant. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, some of the best emerged as the finalists and winners for this hackathon. And today we are very happy to have five finalist projects with us. Uh, and they all came from DAO track. Uh, they are XDAO, ASPIS, ePocket, XLetter, and uh, 0x SBT. Sure. So without further ado, let's welcome uh, the first team to, uh, to to start their demo sessions. And before we start, please keep in mind that because we have five teams, uh, uh, every team will have no more than 20 minutes for presentation, including Q&A part. Uh, so, so don't make it too long and complicated teams. Uh, also, for all the audience, if you have any questions during the sessions, please please feel free to ask uh, in the live stream YouTube room or Binance Lab chat room. Uh, so yeah, uh, feel free to start when when you are ready, teams. Uh, I think the first team is the uh, uh, Excel. Right, I think that was Aspis in the order. Yeah, I also Sorry. think so. Can you please double uh, check? Because I'm pretty sure it's Aspis. Oh, okay. Uh... Okay, guys, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I'm sharing my screen then and starting. Yeah. First of all, can you see my screen? Yeah, we can see. Okay, cool. So, um, hi everyone, I'm Vlad from Maspis. Uh, thank you for having us here. Uh, this is a very big honor. Uh, this is not our first time working with uh, Dora Hack, so really, really appreciate what you guys are doing. So let me tell you um, a bit about my project and what we do. So, um, Aspis is an on-chain management toolkit to create and manage DAOs that have uh, cumulative and collaborative assets. So. Uh, to be short, uh, we took hundreds of years of corporate experience uh, behind the legal systems and uh, fund management and asset management uh, legal entities and put it into the smart contract. Uh, so here, uh, the project is presented by me. Uh, so a couple of words about our team. So we are right now eight people. Uh, for uh, on the left, like uh, with me five, I'm bridging two worlds. Uh, I represent the technical part and team on the right represent business part. Uh, we are ex-management consulting um, and uh, investment banking specialists with connection to the development. Uh, so our development have a lot of experience with working with especially hyperledger fabrics and corporate solutions, which prove uh, to make reliable systems uh, uh, that doesn't fail. And uh, our business team represent with uh, ex-management consulting and investment banking guys who really known for uh, their hardworking um, <clears throat> aspirations. So um, let's see what we built so far. So during our experience with crypto market, we worked a lot with fundraising for startups and trust management. If you look at the left side of this slide, you can see how things are mostly working now in crypto and uh, almost the same in uh, regulator sphere. Uh, using current, current tools is expensive, takes a long time, and still doesn't prevent the main risk safety mechanism backward looking. 
that means that uh, even if you have the legal entity protecting your funds uh, from the uh, manager's misbehavior, uh, they can only be received uh, after the uh, legal uh, prosecutor um, harms uh, the bad actor and uh, sees his funds, which is not safe. So uh, the base core idea here is instead of uh, prevent, instead of uh, punishing the bad actors, uh, we are aiming on preventing the fraud in the first place. So instead of funds being directly transferred uh, from the investor to the manager or kept on a legal entity which doesn't prevent manager to have access to the funds and withdraw it to buy some Lamborghini, for example. Uh, funds, you can see on the right that they're stored on on-chain investors agreement or DAO smart contract and have gated access both to the investor and manager according to the term sheet they sign on our platform before uh, they start this uh, work relationship. So basically three main things here is that uh, funds in DAO are protected from current red flags through on-chain agreement. Uh, is the investor and manager have own uh, on-chain dashboard with transfer and actual analytics, and he can see what is happening with his funds directly in on-chain, and all his funds are protected. Uh, and um, main accounting routine, automated smart contracts, so there is no double check or no need in accounting function, for example, uh, to see like who funds are represent to who because they all linked uh, through the chain uh, connection. So uh, to put it simply, uh, our solution consists of three main parts. The first is a no code DAO constructor where uh, in, where manager set up his fund with onboarding and the onboarding rules also specifies all the fees and fines uh, and controlling and risk management functions. At the same time, this is DAO Launchpad where all these DAOs created on chain can be available for the investor choice on a DAO browser. So basically all the DAOs deployed on our DAO constructor are available uh, in the Launchpad with their real APY data and uh, real transaction history and so on. And also all the governance of this DAO is happening on chain means that uh, all the uh, DAOs uh, created on it Aspis can uh, all the members can create proposals and vote on these proposals without leaving the platform. So, uh, from the investor's perspective, we are core uh, solution because we compromise all of these functions in one place. Uh, uh, so, a couple of words about the market and why we choose that. So, um, the only thing where DAO is a matter uh, where the relationship actually have money. So that's why the uh, asset uh, management or capital management DAOs has uh, the main implication and the main in you know, market size. So it has, it also have uh, more potential for routine uh, automation as well as uh, losses are the hugest here uh, in security matters. So also there is no uh, big players currently into this segment of the market. That means that the market is still available for the competition. So we were building our infrastructure for more than a year right now. And uh, we will release it to the public very soon. And I think that our solution will be pretty compatible because uh, if you will compare us to the key players into the market, you can see that we have more uh, seamless and uh, better, greater UX experience for uh, the investors, as well as we're focusing uh, not on legal part, but on uh, on-chain governance part and execution part that means that each us each DAO deployed on us piece can do their own legal setup uh, and uh, this setup can be easily connected with the ASP's uh, uh, ASP's API um, so here we go so we have like pretty things will be go so let's switch to the demo video so here you can see our platform you can easily connect wallet uh, see all the DAOs. We don't have the backend, so all the information stored uh, on the subdrive. Uh, so here you can easily uh, start by choosing your uh, right template suitable for your organization. There will be fund project as well as uh, other stuff. So here you specify the basic things like name, DAO name, token name, description, some links for the accessibility to the, to the public. And here you specifying the LP agreement by specifying the onboarding rules, such as fundraising target, duration of fundraising phase, uh, if there will be a refund, if target is not reached, also when the starting of the fundraising happens, the base currency for profit calculation, 
as well as deposit limits and tokens available for depositing. Of course, uh, allow listed wallets to deposit. You can upload CSV with the uh, desired wallets that we will only be able to deposit to this DAO. Also, token lockup period to protect you from the flash loans. Um, also, some uh, offboarding rules such as withdrawal windows, so the manager is able to balance his capital. Uh, for example, here uh, he can be able to withdraw funds uh, every two days for each 13 days. Uh, if he's withdrawing outside the uh, withdrawal window, he has the rage quit fine which is the fine you pay from the value of your capital if you do extraction of the capital earlier than the period. Also, there is transaction delay time. The voting happens and the vote being implemented. This is very important reason, which is entrance to different uh, managers and cases. A voting rule can be set up for his you know, personal capital deployment, like trading pairs on Uniswap, and also a specified ability to change the manager inside the smart contract via voting. Uh, and uh, next comes the last uh, controlling phase, where can, you, where, can, where can you set up the spending limit, for example, you can control how much capital can be spent each month and withdraw it from the double buy. The manager and you specify the initial uh, price of LP. You deploy the DAO, now it is available on our Launchpad marketplace where you can see all the DAOs uh, deployed and approved by the ASPIS team. Here you can see the basic things such as the funding targets, deposit range, fund manager, portfolio description, and transaction history. You can click join, you can, you can see the detailed term sheet if you're interested in investing on this DAO. Here you can see all the rules. Um, you can choose uh, the asset for a deposit here. Uh, here is, um, for example, BC. And uh, yeah, you can easily deposit. And here you will be able to see your deposit on Etherscan uh, with the RP tokens being minted, which give you the voting power, uh, as well as the commission being paid directly. And you can see that. So, uh, how um, DAO managers can transact with this DAO, we solve this problem with integration of frame open source wallet, which is similar to MetaMask. Um, so you can easily add ASPIS DAO here by entering the uh, DAO address. It will check if you're the manager and, and you can the transact, for example, do simple transaction Uniswap directly from the DAO balance. Um, so uh, here you can see the transaction being made. Uh, the last thing is voting. A voting can be created by choosing the right proposal from here and uh, deploying it uh, on chain. So to put it simple, our platform is uh, uh, secure. Our platform doesn't have the backend. Uh, our platform has uh, um, already uh, been ready for the last like half a year and we are still like uh, preparing our infrastructure for uh, the first public launch. We already want some uh, four uh, hackathons uh, as well as we recently were um, working closely with one of the hugest company in crypto. And uh, yeah, so we're looking forward for a public launch, uh, ready to connect with as many um, DAOs and chains as possible for the integration. And uh, we're aiming on bringing transparent uh, experience to the asset management worldwide when people will not trust their funds to uh, centralized entities like crypto exchange and uh, will start trusting themselves more by organizing on this uh, decentralized infrastructure we're helping to build. And we believe that uh, human, humanity will be freedom uh, by having these uh, more tools uh, for controlling their data and their funds. Uh, thank you. And that was it. Ready to answer your questions. Awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Vladimir. Um, so yeah, Neil, feel free to jump in. Thank you, Vlad and the team. Uh, do you have some quick questions right here about your submissions right here for the hackathon? Is there any plan that you'll be working on the further integration onto the Clayton? And can you briefly explain how your current solutions right now is related to the Clayton Foundation, uh, Clayton blockchain? Um, yeah, I think if that's a very good question. So 
uh, of we of course are planning to launch on as many chains as possible. Uh, the only thing that matters here is also the support of the chain, uh, because um, if we go to the chain, uh, we need to reach the teams who is building their own algorithmic trading funds or uh, DeFi indexes or things like that. So we'll have the customers. So uh, we're planning on launching on Clayton uh, as uh, the second, basically, or third chain. We're starting with Polygon, Ethereum, and BNB chain. And uh, these are already integrated. And the only requirements for the chain to, um, for us to easily integrate is to have the subgraph and uh, to have uh, Aragon or Aragon V1 contracts work on. And uh, we will be able to integrate Clayton after that. And also we are uh, looking for a change with a very active trading community so they can start utilizing our framework because we're a good substitution to the Binance API key basically for the uh, discretionary asset management. And uh, we believe that this is something that will be very popular since everything which is happening with the success. Fantastic. I think across the team, we like, um, you know, Aspi, uh, your solutions right here is, is really innovative in terms of the uh, DAO launch pad that we are looking at. Uh, that's why we like to see the local, uh, the, the local entrance for the, um, for the DAO, um, you know, work, uh, uh, this kind of um, ideas generated right, is pretty good, uh, pretty solid. And uh, even though I think currently, I think you have you might be having some part being built on Clayton already, but for this one, we don't see a major part that you have been building on Clayton. That's why you have some integration plan for Clayton, but I'm quite sure you're EVM compatible fully when I look at your code base very quickly. So it should be it should be good. But uh, one more thing we would like to confirm uh, from our side, uh, maybe a questions for you directly is, um, when it comes to these uh, no backend uh, structures, uh, this 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 kind of no backend architectures that you're having. So when you say no backend, then how do you um, having all these kind of um, features right there on your front end, having you know DAO being created, or or do you mean like you don't have the backend to process the smart contract interface or as a as a web three interface, or how does it work for you? How do you connect your front end or smart contract together if you don't have a backend? And maybe you can have more a bit elaborations onto this one. Yeah, sure. So uh, we're utilizing the subgraph, and subgraph is uh, the something that stays in the middle from the chain and uh, the interface of the application. So basically, it stores uh, like a backend, but it's really important here to. Uh, mentioned that this is not a backend since if there is a backend then there is like root access to the sysadmin or someone uh, that can leak the data and uh, the difference here is that since the data is uh, synced uh, on chain uh, there is no such an access for example and this is also good for um, the safety of the users because uh, one of the weakest point on uh, this uh, launch pattern uh, solutions for the fundraising for the crypto fundraising is that uh, the information on the front end can be easily uh, hacked, for example, and uh, people will be for uh, understanding that they will be depositing to the certain DAO and uh, this DAO, uh, for example, visuals on it will be different than uh, actual what is happening on chain. That's why it is really important for us to not have the third party or, or intermediary uh, between the chain and uh, uh, the DAO list and the information that is displayed. So that's what I was talking about when uh, I said that we don't have the backend. Thank you, Vlad. Uh, I think uh, from the Clayton side, we have all the questions asked and we would lovely to pass on to the next submissions right here, Chris. Thank you, Vlad and Tim. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, <clears throat> thanks, uh, Vladimir. Great to see you again. Uh, let's jump to the next uh, project today, which is the X Ladder. Hi, teams. Feel free to start. Don't forget to unmute yourself. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, we can see and we can hear you very well. So create the story you want. Hi, we are Yena and Eugene, and we are from X Letter Labs. And today we are going to present X Letter. X Letter is a participation-based Web3 media DAO where stories follow the plot selected by the reader through a voting system. So let's see the background of the problem. 
The ideal DAO is an organization where all of its members participate actively to contribute to the community. However, in practice, we can see very low participation rates, where decisions are made between a few individuals. On the other side, in popular web novel platforms, the well-established writers are the only ones who enjoy the profits, while the beginning um, writers don't. Xletter targets these problems while promoting mass adoption through the implementation of DAOs. In the case of traditional DAOs, the value of governance gradually declines with time, as there is no clear motivation for users to continue participating. In this sense, X letter is different from other DAOs as participants are motivated to engage in the DAO based on the content of a web novel. This way, our platform increases the sustainability of the DAO by utilizing the web novel as an incentive medium. Additionally, the implementation of DAOs in X letter supports the creators by guaranteeing the writer's income. Since there is a base membership fee, a minimum income is guaranteed for the writer, which will become a motivation to continuously create high quality content leading to the virtuous cycle of the platform. Finally, unlike traditional Web 2's web novel platforms, X Letter improves efficiency by saving on unnecessary expenses, such as commissions and operating costs. The purpose of the data on chain is to prevent the unbalanced distribution of writers' interests and unfair contracts in the existing web novel market and complementing the shortcomings of the existing one. This way, X Letter aims to give the reader the choice of their own stories while maintaining a sustainable profit model for the, for the writers utilizing a DAO. Um, so now let's see how our platform works. XLetter has three main functions, which are Excel Explorer, Excel DAO, and Membership NFT. The first main function, Excel Explorer, provides an environment to create DAOs and a ranking of DAOs by collection. After paying a certain amount of XLT, which is official token used in the platform, readers get the corresponding membership NFT, which allows them to participate directly in the DAO by exercising their influence on the story. Then we have the second main function, which is Excel DAO, on uh, Excel DAO is the DAO by collection, which is a participation-based media DAO where the story is unfolded, reflecting the reader's preference through voting. The readers can access the chapters and vote on the, on the direction of the plot. And lastly, the final function is the X letter membership NFT. As a governance NFT to participate in the DAO, the membership NFT is divided in three levels depending on the amount of XLT paid in Excel Explorer. Each membership level has a different influence on the story's development. Um, our platform is based on the clading chain. We chose the clading chain because it has faster speeds and lower gas costs compared to other Ethereum-based tokens and chain. For these reasons, uh, readers will be able to enjoy the platform itself and at the same time, it's a friendly way of approaching Web3. It's also a good way to activ activate other fields besides the most popular topics such as the metaverse or the NFT markets. The usage of the change itself will also lead to the usage of our platform. Also, adoption of decentralization and Web3 can be achieved as clading can be used in other Kakao-based platforms, such as Kakao Page. The service structure is the following. Here, several collections of DAOs can be seen, which is composed by regular and membership subscribers, the, no the novel itself, and the writer. The readers exchange their clay to XLT and use their tokens to have access to the novel. In the case of regular subscribers, they only have the option to read the story. But in the case of membership subscribers, they can get the membership NFT to have access to the DAO and receive rewards. Here, through the voting system, they can choose the direction of the plot and receive incentives depending on the level, on the level of their membership NFT. Also, through the DAO, readers are given the option to communicate with the writer and vice versa. The revenue of X letter comes from four sources, the platform itself, DAOs, the marketplace, and NFTs. The X letter platform generates revenue through advertising by various related companies and exchange fees. DAOs also generate revenue as there is a fee to join the collections DAO and purchasing the membership NFT. Lastly, at the marketplace, transactions of NFTs take place, which also produce um, fees. So now we are going to see our demo website. And Okay, here is our demo website that we made um, for X letter. And here we can see the main home of our platform. Here users can check um, the several collections that uh, the platform has. Um, the, uh, the collections where voting is occur occurring and the trending ones. 
So this is like the most, um, this is like where we can find like the different categories of um, novels and web collections, web novel collections that exist in the platform. So if we click on one of uh, the novels, then we can see the, uh, the detailed page of the web novel. Um, readers can read the web novels after paying a certain amount of XLT per episode. So here you can see the join DAO button. And if you uh, click on this button, this will lead the user to OpenSea where they can purchase the membership NFT in order to join the DAO. So if we go back um, here, we can see the chapters. And if the user clicks on the read chapter, then they can access to the, um, to the episode itself. And now we are going to check the Excel Explorer page. On Excel Explorer, you, users can check the ranking of the DAO by collection. And by clicking on the collection, users can um, access to the applicable DAO page. And depending on the amount they, amount they pay, they can join the DAO, which um, I already showed you in the uh, previous page. So now we can go to the My page. Here, um, users can check easily their current participating DAOs and the NFTs that they own, as well as their purchase history. Also, the user can also check the XLT they own and manage their account and account information here in settings. By connecting the wallet to my page, users can exchange clay to XLT through the exchange system that is incorporated in our platform. Since XLT is a governance token that is a governance token that only that can only be purchased with clay, the Kaikas extension must be installed to purchase a token. If a user who has not installed Kaikas at the Kaikos extension attempts to connect the wallet, an alert window will probably appear because they don't have it. So now let's try to connect um, the Kaikos wallet here. So here um, the reader will insert their password and connect their wallet to the platform. So here we can see that, that the wallet is connected. Uh, the contract that uh, was designed with a structure that means XLT according to the user's request. Uh, the ratio uh, between XLT and clay will depend on the dollar, and the ratio of XLT clay will correspond to about 1 to 4.8, um, but it will depend on the price of the dollar, basically. So now let's uh, see the buy XLT option or, or function that we have. Here, the users can choose the amount of XLT that they want to purchase, that it can go from the 10 to 50 to 100 and to 500. After the user selects the amount of XLT that they want to purchase, they can just click this button and this page will appear. So you just click on confirm. And now the user will have purchased the XLT. So the amount of clay is proportional to the amount of purchase selected by the user is required. Like this means that the user has to select one of these options. And if the user's clay balance is insufficient, then the transaction cannot be executed. And if the transaction was successful, then the user can check the amount of XLT and clay reflecting the purchase on my page, which will be on this side. Um, so this was, Okay, so um, this was everything for our presentation. Thanks everyone for your attention. And once again, um, we are X Letter Labs, part of IHWA Chain, the official blockchain club of IHWA Women's University. Here are our socials in case you wanna check that out. And we are open to any questions of the public. Um. Chris, can I ask a question? Yeah, absolutely. Please do, please do. Uh, so it's a very interesting application, unique, which I've seen. I've not seen someone creating a DAO for, you know, um, a, a letter, um, reading a novel and creating one. So I have a question here. So can I ask, um, why do we need a DAO here? Like, what are they responsible for? Okay, so so your platform itself can work without a DAO, right? So um, the participants in the DAO will be in charge of um, deciding the plot of the storyline. 
So basically inside uh, some of the chapters of the novel, uh, there will be an option to vote. Like users can either have um, to be regular readers and be on the like membership readers. So like there are two categories of readers. So the normal readers can only access to the novel itself, to the content itself and read about it. But the ones who have purchased the membership can actually influence on the storyline. And that's when the DAO applies. So in for the decision making of the next storyline, you have a DAO. Yeah, exactly. And they get uh, also reward from the membership NFT. So it will be very um, good for the reader and platform and writers. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. And uh, I saw in one of your demo, you had, uh, can you go back to your demo maybe? Yeah. Where you the balance. Um, I saw two, I saw XLT balance or XLT uh, token balance and two different uh, balances here. So I want to understand what is it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. let me check that out. Sure. So yeah, so you have a token balance, right? And also you're buying this 10 XLT or 5 XLT. So, uh, and the current balance is zero. So what is it? Are they different? The... This part and this part. I, let me uh, refresh the page. But both are same, is it? I just wanted to know um, in a monetization way, are they both same or do you have a different model in the back end? If it is a different one, then I want I'm I'm interested to know what is, you know. Mm, yeah. So it's supposed to, we are retrieving this same information from the backend, like um, uh -huh. the XLT that is shown here is supposed to show here, um, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I just wanted can to I know if- it again? Can I try it again, like buying the XLT? That's um, okay. That's okay. I think uh, it's fine because you have already done a good job. Sometimes in demo it happens, but I just wanted to know the- uh model behind it if it is different is it for a different purpose or if it's the same i'm okay with that uh, oh yeah, yeah it's supposed to be the same yeah. um okay maybe i'll pass the pass it to neo if he has any questions yeah i do have uh thank you xlat labs uh for your amazing submissions right here and your contributions uh, to this hackathon so i'm neil from creighton i would like to ask you a few questions right here so uh, when I look at your platform solutions right here if you go back to your UI uh, which is your demo yeah. uh, you mentioned that some X latter style and obviously I can see I can if I go on your platform I can go to um, to the OpenSea and buy the membership uh, to be part of the DAO so I would like to see more uh, is there any more DAO features that you're planning to have onto these platform? Or what are the existing DAO features uh, that I can at least uh, enjoy or try uh, on your uh, demo right here? What I can do as a, as, a, as a DAO member? What kind of features that you have from the DAO uh, right now on your platform? Oh, so we are still working on that. Um, what we only have to like up to now is like a demonstration join. of a demonstration of like the uh, how to join the DAO. Like click on it and like direct it directs you to the um, OpenSea platform. And we also have just like a demonstration about um, how the voting will look like. So like if okay. you go into the chapter and like. Um, you can have two options between like, if you wanna choose this um, ending or this other option, like one option or other option. Um, but yeah, like basically we all, to up to now, we are still working on like more features of the DAO. And yeah, basically for now, it's only like the join DAO. Yeah, so as it's of today, I can join, I uh, go on, go on. Oh, yeah, we wanted to just show more um, transaction hash in the transaction, like the, tra the transaction actually happened on the blockchain, but like, um, I think it's 
yeah, you can go on and like ask your question. Go ahead with your question. Yeah, um, very quickly. So as of today, uh, based on the current versions of the solution, I can only join the DAO. Uh, that's the only feature. And there will be upcoming feature that I can fold in a DAO, right? So other than join and fold, is your team planning to have further features uh, when it comes to the DAO interactions? Uh, any features that you're planning to have on your future roadmap? um yeah uh so what we have in mind right now is that the writer can the readers can actually interact with the writer and also buy um um nfts related to nfts related to the uh the collection and um currently we are also we have in the roadmap to uh, recruit writers because right now, because we are just focusing on the business development of the project, we don't have um, like actual users of the platform. So in the the, I, the next thing that we have in mind right now is to um, recruit writers and to incorporate more people into our platform. And also we can use that um, platform for second creation. Great tip. Yes, second creation. Um, so what she means, what we mean is that um one of the features that they DAO will have is that we are going to focus on like NFTs or product digital products or merch uh based on the on the novel itself. Fantastic. Uh great. Um thank you very much for your answer on to these questions. Uh, very quickly, uh, Chris, can you check for us whether we have some questions from the communities or from the um, on the Binance Live channels that we're having? Yeah, so uh, I, I think uh, my teammates is uh, of the race of the, the on those uh, platforms, so they they haven't seen me any uh, questions, so it should, should be good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Next slide to labs. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, let's welcome the next project today, which I believe is the uh, Excel. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. It's great to be here among you on the Clay Makers. Uh, I'm thrilled to present my product now. So uh, let's start with uh, uh, sharing my screen. So at first, I would like to introduce uh, I would like to introduce a product with our landing page, as you can find anything that you need to know uh, about our product there. At this moment, we're live and we've been live and ready for quite some time, more than a year and a half now. Uh, we are a DAO builder, uh, which works on 31 blockchain at the moment. Uh, one, of the, one of the blockchains is Clayton. Uh, and uh, the beauty of a platform is it's very, uh, it's very, uh, uh, fluid and we have a lot of functions there, all of which are deployed on Clayton as well. And it's also quite easy to create a DAO there. We have no coding solutions for everything that you may need, but as well, we have some solutions for developers who can connect some, some features that we have no de not developed yet. They can develop them on their own and connect to their DAOs. So to create your DAO, all you need to do is create your DAO name, uh, uh, set up the uh, quorum and distribute GT tokens, raise uh, investments, and then connect to any uh, DeFi projects that are there uh, outside in the world. Uh, our platform is uh, specifically made for trust management and venture investments, hedge funds, gaming guilds and NFT funds, and project money management and charity projects. So closer about uh, some of our uh main features that are there first of all we have uh, quite a lot of partners and clients at the moment as we've been uh, working for quite some time uh we've been live and now we have I mean, we have a lot of grants and awards as well as from clayton uh what is very important about our platform is that is that we've been audited by two different audits pessimistic audit and hacking audit we've been proven to be extremely secure and our smart contracts are uh, not uh, updatable. That means that uh, if we change something in our UI, if we change something in our front end, 
our smart contracts, smart contracts are, are not going to be changed and everything is going to stay secured. We're not uh, storing any, uh, almost no data about our DAOs and we have no access to funds uh, for sure. And what is important, the only thing that we store usually are the DAO name and their avatar. Uh, so let's see what we have on the platform. So uh, as, you, as I've already told, we've fully developed on Clayton. All the features that we have ever created are already there live and they have been working there for quite some time. What is kind of important, what I see is important is that any new, new user who comes to our platform can choose the blockchain that they want to create their DAO on. And for those who know how cheap and fast Platon is, I think it's a great option to create their DAO there and have all the features that they may need right there at the bottom of the hand. So what can I do now is actually create a DAO very quickly uh, all, you, all I need to do is create the name. Today it's a demonstration DAO. I already have one as I've been as I've created it for Clayton. But what we see there further on, we have DAO symbol. What is important about DAO symbol is that is actually it's a symbol of a GT token. Governance token is non-transferable token. It has no value. That means that further on, uh, it will not be used as uh, uh, as a token that could be. Uh, sent uh, that could be moved uh, to someone else. That means that if you want uh, to have a, a new partner in your DAO, you have to mint their own GD tokens to them. So if I would like to add a partner, I would set, uh, uh, paste here the address and set up the amount of GTs. And that would be today is going to be just a DAO for myself. And here is a quorum, which means that the decision-making process is decided by the percentage of the tokens that are involved in the, uh, in the voting. Uh, that means if there are two partners and the quorum is 51 and each of the partners have uh, one token, uh, that, that would be not enough to make a decision if only one of partners signed the voting. So let's create a DAO and see what will happen. Uh, so I need to sign it from my wallet. And the moment uh, the DAO will be created as well, the uh, the token will be created. And that means that this uh, transaction is actually quite expensive. That is the most expensive transaction that is there. But still, uh, when you're using Clayton, it's all quite cheap. Uh, also, what is important to remember, uh, uh, as you can see, it's very fast here. Uh, what is important to remember is that uh, uh, all the information here is uh, uh, stored on blockchain and all the information about your DAO is stored on blockchain. You can get a fresh transaction history just right here. Uh, and so GD token is made only for decision-making process. What would you do if you would like to raise investments? That means that you would need another type of token, liquidity provider token. That is not mandatory. You can create your DAO only for decision-making processes and you will not need the LP token to raise investments. That's why it's created by another transaction and that is not mandatory. Uh, create, uh, LP creation is just as easy. Uh, we're gonna create it right now just as well. Uh, the only si uh, signature that I need right now is my own as I'm the only member of a DAO. If I would like to create uh, an LP token in a DAO where we're more than one uh, member, I would probably need to sign it from different wallets. And then just when the quorum is reached, any member of a DAO can uh, activate the voting. That way uh, you don't need uh, managers or you can have managers that have voting power, but it's actually quite easy to do that just from just uh, be uh, just as a DAO member and as it just takes one click of uh, the button. So what do we see now? We see that we have an LP token and its address. Uh, we can start a public offer. That means that anyone who visits our DAO page can buy our token by the price that we set. We have private offers. So private investors can buy uh, the token by sp for a special price. We have a burn LP function. That means that investors can leave our DAO at any time. However, that is very much uh, uh, 
uh, settable. That means that you can change the settings of the uh, minting and burning of LP tokens at any time. For that, we have configuration. That means that uh, you need to set the special uh, functions of your DAO in order to uh, just according to your strategy. You can stop adding members at some point when you have collect if you have already collected all of your members that you need, or you can uh, stop removing members in order to leave uh, the amount of participants the same. But what is important is ability to mint and burn LP. You can have your strategy when you can uh, have the period where you attract investments and further on when you need them, you can stop the LP burning, for example, for a year or two, or two when you use it and you uh, bring more, uh, attract more funds. And then at the point where you have attracted those funds, investors can leave and take their respective share. So what else do we have in our LP token uh, folder? We have Launchpad. We have an extremely, uh, 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 extremely uh, functional launch pod, which has been uh, created for quite some time and have been used a lot. We have a lot of uh, settings there, but don't be scared. You can just do it in five minutes, and not not more. Uh, you're choosing the token that you're collecting. Your uh, your uh, the, whether the current crowdfunding comes uh, in which uh, uh, currency the crowdfunding is going on. You're choosing the rate, and you're choosing. You can choose optionally time limit, limited sale amount, and whitelist with allocations. So if you want to have a launch pod where you have, for example, uh, the amount of some some investors who have their their own allocations, they, they will be only uh, be able to invest in the launchpad this uh, amount of uh, tokens. What is great about uh, our DAOs on Clayton at the moment is that they have amazing modules that are all uh, functioning. Uh, the most important ones for DAOs that are working to manage assets and to uh, attract investments and to attract more assets is private exit model as one of the most important features uh, in order for uh, burning uh, LP for special pride and price and exiting the DAO and dividends. You can distribute dividends to, uh, for example, uh, GD token holders or LP token holders and uh, uh, and uh, that that is easily done just by clicking two buttons and they are uh, distributed. Launchpad, as I've previously said, and payroll and document sign. Payroll is quite innovative. Payroll is uh, made in order to pay salaries automatically and quite easily. What is great about payroll is that uh, you set the address that is getting your salary you also set the amount of uh, tokens that the uh, recipient will get in a month. And the recipient can mint uh, his salary at any time. For example, he's gained the, uh, his salary for one day. He can mint it at the moment and uh, he will not have to, uh, uh, he, he can mint it this each day and pay gas each day. Or he can mint it once a month. So that leaves the, uh, some space for the recipient to decide which way is best. And one of our newest modules is document sign, uh, which is important as you can sign documents from your DAO by your wallet. Uh, the best way we recommend to do that is by signing an actual contract in advance saying that these signatures actually state your opinion and, the, uh, and uh, deciding it in advance, but further on, all the decisions that you may need, for example, you're living in different countries and you have your DAO, you can easily do that through our platform, just as well as you would send some money with the, uh, with the quorum, you can sign the uh, new uh, documents just by clicking the buttons. So I think that's pretty much it for today's demo. Uh, we have some more features that are already uh, deployed on Clayton, but I've covered all the most important ones. We believe in decentralized future and we believe in a uh, great organization that can be uh, deployed on blockchain and we're doing everything we can. For example, uh, we're, we're upgrading all the time and uh, as well as we're upgrading everywhere on each blockchain that we've deployed on, uh, the 
the closest uh, changes that are going to happen is, for example, UX and UI redesign will happen on Clayton blockchain too. And I think it's great. And I'm very happy to be part of Clayton community. Thank you, Paulina and the XDAO team. Uh, your product looks really mature. And just want to say, um, the product, given the product is quite mature, the um, the integration to the Clayton blockchain, uh, most likely uh, I can see a lot of features being uh, integrated already. And you guys are actually looking at having, building a multi-chain future as well, um, uh, which is which is quite good and quite essential for DAO launchpad like yours. Uh, when we look at Claymakers 22, um, can you give me some suggestions on what kind of features that you have just went through are specifically for Claymakers 22 as a hackathon? Claymakers 22. I think it's uh, a document sign module. Uh, it's one of our freshest ones, and we're actually quite impressed with the, uh, with the importance that it can bring further on. For DAOs on Clayton that exist uh, uh, on XDAO ecosystem, it's, it would be quite easy to move from Web2 from uh, all the uh, uh, actual uh, businesses that happen in real life to blockchain businesses. That means that the processes that have already been happening for quite some time as signing documents can move to blockchain. So for Clayton, uh, that can be very important as you can attract new businesses, attract new users that are not uh, still that, that uh, well educated on the blockchain, but uh, they have the similar uh, features that they had in previous experience, they are in previous experience in business, they have the same features in, uh, uh, in the Web3. Fantastic. Uh, so one more thing, when you generate the LP token, I see the standard is with the ERC20. And then, um, so I was just wondering, um, so first of all, when you can have the ERC20 being deployed to the Clayton chain, kind of you can see the, the power of the Ethereum equivalents, uh, EVM equivalents of Clayton right here. Uh, so you can still deploy the ERC20 contract uh, onto the Clayton blockchain. Uh, testnet and things will still be working so my questions right here is um and and i think good thing you still have the eip 2612 which you can have a bit permit extensions for your lp token so is there any plan that you will be um, looking at or your solution will be looking at the lp token could be minted uh, based on maybe based on our kip7 or, or different different uh, contract standard that we're having from the clayton chain we're definitely looking into that It'll take some time. We have uh, our system, we have our unupgradable uh, smart contracts, but there is a uh, version three uh, in our roadmap and uh, we're definitely looking into different ways into upgrade in our system, so. Fantastic. Um, one more uh, before I passing on to others. Um, all of all the features um, that you're having, uh, obviously as a, as a fully functional open source, uh, a DAO launch pad, all of all the features that you have, um, can you name um, one features that you feel like um, is going to be definitely these features we're really proud of and we're really different from, you know. I saw earlier from other team, they put together a comparison graph like that, uh, which I, I saw XDAO was featured into that, uh, but I'm not trying to bring up this kind of <laughs> you know, argument or comparisons right here. So just, maybe you can just tell me uh, one feature that you feel is really special on XDAO and everybody from this call or the audience from our Binance Live right here uh, would like to chat that out and would like to join XDAO and come kind of interact with your ecosystem right there. Absolutely. First of all, I also saw the chart and I actually screen screenshotted it in order to have a further investigation, maybe to check out something that we need to work on. That is actually quite impressive because uh, that makes us to uh, that 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 uh, inspires us to work better when we see these charts. So uh, first of all, the most important thing about our platform is that is that absolutely free, and that is very flexible. That means that you can uh, bring uh, your own modules to your DAO and have all the settings and the the responsibilities on you. But it's also quite easy to use. It is no code platform. But I think if we're talking about like some feature that is very important for me, it's Connect. And I haven't shown it in the demo, but it is right there in the left side tab. 
connect uh, allows you to uh, connect to any DeFi project. That means if you would like to trade somewhere, we have our own swap, uh, which is uh, supported by one inch and it is great. But if you would like to uh, connect to any DeFi project there, you have full freedom. You can just uh, connect with Wallet Connect just as you would uh, use your wallet, uh, uh, EVM wallet, but you use your DAO. So then you connect to it, you can swap, you will sign the uh, voting as you would do with any other transaction from DAO. You reach the quorum and there you've swapped or you have uh, provided liquidity or anything else that you can do with DAOs out there. I think this feature is the most important that we have. Thank you, Paulina and the XDAO team. Uh, amazing submissions right here, uh, really solid. Uh, do we have any further questions from other judge on the call? Uh, yes, Neil, I would like to ask uh, one or two questions, maybe. Uh, so, hi, Paulina. Hi. Uh, so, actually, can I ask uh, the criteria for reaching the quorum? I saw the quorum percentage is 51. So, does that include the for, against, and people who have not voted as well, like, or only the for votes? So, what yeah. is the criteria? Uh, the criteria is very easy. First of all, 51% is something that I opted for myself. Uh, you can choose any quorum out there. Second of all, uh, the system uh, of voting we have is actually amazing and very innovative. It's hybrid voting. That means that, for example, you have three members and 51% uh, quorum. One of the members signs it. So you've reached 33% of quorum. You can either sign it or not signing. There is no option of uh, I'm not uh, participating as it will not be needed as you don't have to wait for everybody to vote. You only need to reach enough uh, amount of uh, votes. So once two people with exact, let's say, say there is exactly the same amount of GT tokens among the participants. So once two of the uh, uh, participants signed it, that means that you've already reached the quorum. Uh, that means that any of the participants can now activate the voting. Each signature is not uh, is is uh, is actually off chain. It will be de uh, deployed on the blockchain further on. That means that it gas free and absolutely it takes absolutely no time. That means that even if you have three hundred participants in your DAO, you will not have to pay gas fee each time somebody signs the voting. You will only have to pay gas fee once when you activate the voting because you actually want to make the decision. Okay. Uh, so, can this uh, quorum percentage can be changed by the DAO? Absolutely, there is a such feature. But you will, have, in order to change quorum, you need to reach quorum. That means if you want to change quorum from fifty-one to sixty-two, you still need fifty-one percent of uh, percent of signs. <laughs> That's funny. And you mentioned about the signing legal documents, right? So where yeah. are the so since it's decentralized? Obviously, blockchain is decentralized, and DAO is decentralized, right? So where is it being stored? Uh, Everything is being stored on blockchain. We're not storing almost, we store almost nothing. We saw avatars of DAOs uh, uh, on our uh, on our Firebase, I think. I'm not sure, so, but I'm pretty sure it's fine, uh, Firebase. So uh, everything is stored on blockchain. Uh, I can actually, uh, well, if, you, if you're interested, I can show you. I have uh, one of the, uh, I have already created some documents in other DAO and signed it. So if you would like to see how it works. Yeah, sure, but then it's stored in blockchain so anyone can access it or how do you maintain? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, we believe that in fully transparent system, anyone can uh, can check out the documents that you're down signed. Okay, so the legal documents is also visible by everyone in the community. Yes. And one more question, one last question maybe. So in the payroll function, right, you mentioned um, the payroll function. So is it manual? Because you said people can even mend in a daily basis of what work they do. So in that case, I'm I'm quite unclear here. For example, if I am working for X DAO and I'm working on a daily basis, so if I if I want to um, withdraw my salary on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a monthly basis, how do you pay me? Like, are you going to do some transaction on the back end to pay me daily, or how does this work? Yeah. Because uh, okay, so, uh, just yeah. So in general, if I'm working for a company, if it's a freelancing job, at the end of the you know job 
getting done, I get paid. So it's like one-time transaction. Or if it's a monthly payment, if I work for a company every month, it's automated. It gets to my salary. But in blockchain, it has to be executed as a transaction, right? So how does it work? Exactly. The payroll transaction, uh, you pay the gas fee. Just the mm -hmm. time when you uh, uh, connect your payroll to your DAO. That means mm -hmm. that you pay it once and then it just freezes the amount uh, that you will pay this month and it transfers the uh, micro amount each second to the address. So uh, the, the amount is already there. The thing is uh, the person cannot mint it in advance. He can mint it every day because he've already worked that day and he have he, there is uh, the amount have gathered there that he that that represents the one day of his work so we can mint it now uh yeah that works uh automatically from the uh point of view of a DAO. that means that you don't have to actually make the transaction and remember that you need to pay a salary to this uh recipient and who, how much he earns you just click it one time and when you want to stop paying the salary you just click stop and that's it so you mean to say that I uh, have all the funds in a smart contract beforehand? So it's uh, just all the funds are already on smart contract as DAO is a smart contract. Okay. Okay. I think that's it for me. Thank Great. you. Great. Uh, Chris, do we have further questions from the communities? Uh, I, I think uh, for XDAO, it's already... Uh, around 20 minutes so i guess okay. we can yeah but thank you yeah, thank you very much thank you very much paulina for the yeah. excellent presentation yeah uh so the next product projects today is uh the pocket so nabi are you ready hi hi chris hi everyone yeah feel free to start we are ready yeah. So, um, hi everyone. I'm Nabi, CMO and co-founder of Deep Pocket. It's my uh, pleasure to uh, speak here today. Yeah. And um, so today I will uh, share with you guys a uh, one-stop shop DeFi platform that's uh, super convenient for you to manage and also invest your uh, your access uh, across multi chains and uh, multi wallet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so today I have uh, three main points we'll share with you guys. Firstly, I'll introduce about the Pocket app, the uh, problem and uh, our solutions and how it works. And second, I'll talk about some uh, technical terms like uh, platform architect and uh, the competitive of the Pocket. And the last, I will talk about some, um, I mean, the user acquisition strategy of the Pocket. Yeah, so let me share my screen now. Yeah. Okay, so um, here is the dashboard of the pocket because uh, I believe that uh, you guys have, uh, as an investor and trader, you guys have more than one wallet and uh, these wallets uh, store the, uh, your, your assets across multi-chains uh, like Ethereum, Binance, Polygon. So I just create the demo wallet. Uh, just for example, um, this is the, the wallet on the business wallet, Clyde wallet near protocols of Phantom here. So um, like, for example, this is the, the wallet of, of me. Yeah, but um, yeah. And um, you can see that in the dashboard feature, we have the total balance here, uh, the to, to be claimed uh, my death or uh, total access here. And uh, in the trans balance section, you can see the uh, total balance on each chain, like Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, Clay. Yeah, um, we already integrate Clay into the pocket. Yeah, and uh, also the DApp balance. Um, currently, the pocket we already support more than sixteen uh, chains and uh, more than one hundred DApp. So you can manage your. Um, your staking, farming, like for example, on Anpaka or Venus, Pancake Swap. Yeah, and um, 
your portfolio also be visualized with the um, daily PNL chart or the token allocation like this. And uh, here is the, the wallet. Um, you can, the, the system auto automatically uh, show the own wallet of uh, BSC, Clay, Near, or Phantom. So I will choose one wallet, Clay, and uh, I can unhide the, um, the small balance here. Yeah. And uh, I can also custom the, the token I want just to the, the chains and add the smart contest of the token and pass it here. Yeah, and uh, scroll down, you will see your, your access, your, I mean, your staking farming access, or the, uh, your borrow, your, your debt, your lending here. Yeah, and the next uh, feature that I, I love is the watch list. Um, because as an investor and trader, I need to follow the uh, um, the the well at risk, like for example, the Solana rich glitch or uh, Aptos, ENS, Alameda addresses, or even BlockFi wallet. So with this feature, you can uh, follow any um watch list you want and you can even share it with your, your friends just copy here yeah and uh, you can see there there to be claimed the dev or total access you can follow us and uh, set the alerts for yourself in the future yeah and the next feature i love is swap yeah with these features you can swap on the multi chains with multi wallet yeah and uh, because um, we have that elevator. So for example, I swap BNB and maybe another token like near. Yeah. yeah, so um, the system will choose the, um, uh, I mean, we filter the liquidity source like uh, Pancake, Venus, uh, Venus or Uniswap. And after that, we will choose the best price for the best price for, for you to, to swap. So which means you earn more profit. Yeah, with these features, you swap with the better price. And uh, on the app, we also have stacking feature or voting here. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, vote for the new feature you want or support it, the app. We also support this, uh, more than 100 the app and you can uh, request the, the app you want here. Yeah, and um, that is the, the feature of uh, the pockets, uh, the pockets, that's for the pocket app. Um, in the future, we also have the feature like auto farming, auto staking. And with that feature, you can um, choose the best interest rate you want on the multi, um, multi blockchain and multi the app. Yeah, okay, so next. I think I will share something about um, the Pocket Platform Architect. This is the, um, the Pocket Platform Architect. So here is the blockchain on chain. We have Binance, Ethereum, Clyde, uh, and other DApp on that. Um, so we will uh, index that engines into our index engines and uh, data stores. And then we show it on the Pocket dashboard. Yeah, so you can see that the pockets dashboard is like the um the demo for developer because in the future we will share our index engines. We will have the index engine dashboard for developer to utilize the pockets dashboard. I mean to utilize the pocket index engine and then create their own um DeFi platform. Yeah, it's more convenient for them. Okay, next and uh, this is the some uh, I mean competitive advantage for the pocket. Like we have high performance on chain index engines, NFT and multi chain support, and smart interface. Here is are uh, some um, I just compare some um, problem solving between the pocket and other the apps. Um, like we support multi chain management and we show it in one single interface and we also support stacking farming balance on more than 100 the apps yeah and uh, support multi wallets uh, and nft support and especially we 
when you use the, the dashboard filter, you no need to connect wallet and it's uh, completely free. So, and we don't manage your mnemonic or your password, keyword, something like that. And we already, uh, I mean, audited by Certic and VeriChain. So it's set to you. Okay. And uh, here is the OSEP strategy for user acquisitions of the pocket. OSEP stands for own, share, own, and pet. So the pocket, we have Telegram, Twitter, Discord, Medium, Facebook. Uh, and uh, when we have a new announcement, uh, it's will share on social media or word of mouth. And we also have referral retroactive program. And uh, earned, we have media relations, investor, and partners. Uh, like the, the D app that we integrate in, they are our partner, and they will share the products, the announcement of the podcast and that, and, and them. Um, okay, and paid media like uh, Facebook, Twitter, Sponsor, or other channels. And this is the marketing ecosystem of the pocket. Uh, here is our the pocket community. And besides that, we also have Defiant. Defiant is a uh, multi channels that uh, we have. Uh, we provide the insight on chain data or crypto knowledge for people. Defiant uh, build a community and support the pocket communities. Yeah. And uh, this is our team. Um, we currently our developer uh, we have around uh, eight members on the um, developer team and uh, they have around uh, one to uh, two experience in building blockchain and they kind of familiar with uh, evm blockchains yeah okay here is our investor and partners yeah and um I would like to, before I end uh, my presentations, here is the phone features demo of uh, the pocket. That's I would like to share. Deep Pocket is a GameFi NFT and crypto asset management platform for the modern investor. No need to log in, enter a wallet and get started. Multi-chain, multi-wallet, no problem. PNL reports in real time. Sleek cash flow charts. Multi token tracking. Diversified portfolio management across all DeFi platforms. NFT and GameFi asset integration. Set up alerts and never miss a beat. Notifications when markets shift. Wrap integration. Transactions across multiple DEX platforms. Easy investment operation. Deep pocket utility features to increase your bottom line. Stake effortlessly, save time and money. Saving operations. Our dashboard puts you in control. Stake Depot and grow with us. Multi wallet, multi chain. Easily add, remove, and track multiple wallets. More to come. Chain API work with Deepak. Knowledge is power. Improve your investments. A mobile app. The world of DeFi in your pocket. Deepocket. Never allowing our community to fall behind as the world races forward. Yes, and uh that is the uh, video of a uh, full filter demo for the pockets. And you can see that we built uh, almost uh, the filters are uh, except uh, on chain APIs we will release soon and the API, API ranking or the auto farm of our users. So, and um, that is my uh, presentations. And I hope that uh, we can um, 
receives the support from the play team and other people. Thank you, Nabi, and uh, thank you, the podcast team. Uh, so uh, looking at your solutions, again, uh, this is quite mature already. Uh, this is a release product, to be honest, uh, integrate with multi-chain. Uh, one thing I just want to ask uh, for Claymakers 20T, for this hackathon that we're having, for the, the podcast submissions right here, what exactly are the features, uh, you know, uh, prioritizing for, the, um, for this hackathon? Yes, yeah, so I... Uh... So I think the, the dashboard and uh, how we connect the, the D apps on the play ecosystem into one dashboard and also connect with the other blockchains. I mean, to bring the one-stop-stop -stop DeFi platform for users. Okay, um, so uh, I think for this track, we are more like onto DAO. So I would like to ask about some DAO features that we have on the podcast specifically for K makers 20 so other than voting uh, is there any any other uh, features that you will be uh, suggesting uh, to the audience right here and you would like to talk about uh, for the K makers 20 um i uh, i think uh, actually for Daryl's, we just have uh, i mean how about the the voting the, the voting with the um, like the DAO governance voting and um, maybe in the future uh, the developer on the client ecosystem they can uh, interpret the um, DeFi platform by themselves with the API on-chain API of the pocket. Okay. Um... Thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, maybe other team members right here or judge uh, in the call, you might have some questions for the Pocket team. Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Uh, very quickly, uh, Chris, do we have further questions from the communities on the Binance channels as well? Uh, not yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't receive any questions so far. Uh, and personally, I don't have more questions for the team because I'm already very familiar with the teams already. So yeah. Great. Uh, I think from the Clayton side, I think we are as well. Uh, we have been looking at these uh, features and I think we asked one important question today. Uh, I think uh, Nabi mentioned that already. Uh, what are the features specifically built uh, for uh, Claymakers 22 uh, onto these submissions that you're having? All right. I think that would be it from the Clayton side. Uh, Chris, I think we are all set uh, onto the next submissions that we're having. Thank you very much, the team. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Nabi. Your team. Yeah. So let's welcome the last but not the least teams to the, today to do the presentation, which is the uh, Zero X uh, SBT. Uh, so we have Choi and uh, uh, Lewis together. So yeah. Can you hear me and see my screen? Yeah, we can do both. Okay. Um, hello, thank you for the opportunity to present. We are Team Zero XPT participating in DAO tracks under Web3 community tooling and infrastructure for DAOs with SPD. We are comprised of first tech developers, Gareth and Luis PM Chat Presidents. Through today's presentation, I will introduce our product. Um, the crypto market was wintering as bear market came along, and most DAO communities showed poor performance. But our team is confident that. DAO will be an important community, you know, enabling transparent self-government decisions in the future of like blockchain technology trends. But in the Clayton ecosystem, as well as other chains, other DAOs have only discords to communicate with because of this. Most of them are centralized DAOs. So there is no major who manages their community transparently. In this atmosphere, we thought deeply about which DAO is a good DAO that con can contribute to the to the ecosystem positively and achieve a transparent future of self-determination. As a result, we thought we needed a protocol that could rate DAO and attract many promising DAOs to revitalize the Clayton ecosystem. To achieve our goal, we prepared Jerex VT, Jerex Soul, and other utilities. 
first, directs at XPT to score and manage manage DAOs in a decentralized way, we needed a contract-based tool. To make this, we thought membership with Soulbound token would be the best way. In the early stage, we select major DAOs in Clayton that will get Jerex BT. DAOs with Jerex BT can evaluate other DAOs with three parts, culture, decentralization, and transparency. Um, culture, culture means that its score will be high if a DAO has its own culture for their community and transparency um, means that you know its score will be high if a DAO opens their data to the public. Finally, decentralization means that its score will be high if a DAO has its own centralization governance system. Of course, all process is on chain and anyone can check the score of DAOs. Recently, Twitter has been trying to make synergy with Web3 pro products. And we also thought Twitter would be a nice place where people in DAOs can communi communicate and make a bond. For this, we created Jerex Soul, which is also SVT and connected to Twitter by Chrome extension. Every DAO registered in Jerex BT can mint Jerex Soul for members and they can connect their soul to to Twitter. It shows, um, you know, the Jerex Soul badge on the Twitter pro profile, uh, which represents he or she is a member of a certain DAO registered in Jerex BT. By this, DAOs in Jerex, Jerex BT can make a much deeper bond and promote their own unique culture. In short, Jerex Soul is an SVT associated with a Twitter account and a Clayton wallet address and belongs to that user. Now, I want to show you how our protocol really works. Wait a second, please. Um, okay. In the main page, you can connect Kaikas wallet for the uh, for Clayton ecosystem, um, something like that. So, um, we we will add Clip, uh, and MetaMask. After connecting the wallet, on the top right, you can check the details, something like that. Um, first, you can see the Jerex VT by, by switching this lever, uh, can move to the Jerex Soul page or Jerex SVT. Um, then let's click the run, launch app button. Um, we can see the rating page for, of many DAOs for simulating uh, the voting system. Um, you know, we select some projects for evaluating in Clayton ecosystem. For example, um, you know, this is a, a Cocoa project and this is a swap scanner or some yeah, something like that. Um, the batches. Um, will be given to DAOs, uh, something like that, that gets sco scores over six, 60. On the top, there are explanations for each item. Let's click vote for DAO. Since I already have Jerex BT, I can vote for each DAO. And because this is a demo, we don't evaluate real DAO. Anyway, you can score for each DAO with three parts. Um, I'm going to score for the first DAO. 50, 50, 50, something like that. And then both for the click both for the um you can uh let's uh oh, sorry. Um oh, sorry sir. Let's give them 100 80 80. After typing the scores, you need to make a transaction. As I already said before, all process is on chain and the average score will be displayed on this page. So um, anyone can check the score of each DAO and make a choice to become a member of the DAO. Then um, let's look around Jerex Soul. We can check the features of Jerex Soul and click Claim Your Soul. You also need it, you, you also need to download a Chrome extension. This. Um, before using Jerex Soul. As written here, um, by minting Jerex Soul, 
DAO member can connect their soul to Twitter. Since I already connect so to Twitter, skip the minting process. Um, after min minting, direct soul when connecting Twitter, you can see you can now see the um okay, you can now see um the direct soul badge on the Twitter profile. Um through the, through this DAO, uh, through this. DAO members can recognize each other on Twitter and activate and expand their community on Twitter. We are going to add several utils with direct soul. For example, they can transform meme token of their own DAO. And we also developed NFT related utils. Um, if DAO creates its NFTs, it can, it can be connected to a Chrome extension and members can use them on Twitter. So press back again. Currently, um, um, unfortunately, there are not many DAOs operating stably in the Clayton ecosystem. We have developed a variety of tools to help various DAOs settle, settle down and revitalize their communities in this situation. Using SBT, DAOs are able to evaluate each other in a decentralized way. And through this, DAOs will work harder um, to improve their scores. We also make a uh, Direct soul to further expand the community by connecting Twitter and SBT. We thought that new users needed a need, um, um, you know, indicator of objective, objectively evaluated DAOs to, to participate in the new DAOs, which was achieved through Direct SBT. We also thought that we need a new community channel outside of Discord and link it to Twitter to SBT. We are confident that this approach can transform ex existing centralized DAOs into decentralized forms and will help various DAOs easily expand their ecosystems. So finally, we are also developing PDAO and initially our first rating community will be composed of PDAO. PDAO is a multi-chain DAO under Postec, which is Korean University. Um, we are developing our own blockchain called it Simplify Project and also developing many colony chains on Juno, Near, Aster, something like that. We are going to make it a, a Clayton colony chain as soon as possible and we become uh, the first fully decentralized, well made, in, well made DAO in the Clayton ecosystem. Since PDAO is already authorized by many blockchain companies, it will be best to become the first rating committee for the Xerox SVT protocol. As the protocol advances, we aim to launch a variety of Xerox VTs to evaluate the various DAOs within Clayton ecosystem and to establish protocols that can select good DAOs to contribute to revitalizing the Clayton ecosystem. More information can come can be found in our description at Doraek Builders. We are building a Web3 community tool for DAO in the Clayton ecosystem and DF for infrastructure preparation. Um, and we want to create a more positive community and attract more users through the, the activation of DAO by introducing a system to rate other DAOs using SVT functionality linked to Twitter. Okay. Thank you for listening my presentation. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Choi, the president. Um, I like I like I like you put together claim uh, starting from K. Anyway, joking. So um um so I do have a few questions. The first one is I can see uh, you put together the OX or zero X uh, SVT protocol right here. And you have your visions onto the PDAO. Uh, maybe we can come back to the PDAO later. The first one I would like to look at uh, all of all these kind of features that you have been building with your protocol. Is there any three uh, or maybe one? You can just name one features that you feel uh, you will be uh, you will be building. Uh, after the hackathon as well. Keep building after the hackathon. What will be the features uh, that you're having on your platform? Um, first, we um, we built, um, as I said before, um, the PDAO. Um, there is, um, uh, PDAO will making the own blockchain um, called it Simplify. So 
uh, we can select many chains, um, Solana or Ethereum or uh, Clayton, something like that. So we can we can make we can make many chains. Um, uh, we can DAO, we can make many DAOs for committee to the many chains because we can select the colony chain. Um, the Simplify project ma can make co many colony chains uh, in the blockchain world. So um, our JRXPT can rate DAOs, um, can select so many DAOs um, by, by selected um, many, cha many chains um, commit, commit DAO, yes. So this is the features of our products. Great. Uh, can I go back to your uh, demo very quickly? Uh, if you were to share the screen. Oh, wait a second, please. So onto the feature, uh, you can put the scores together and then you can vote that I saw. Yes. You, you can, you say this. Uh, when you launch app, yeah. Yeah. So you can put together and to for culture, transparency, decentralization, people can vote for that. Uh, is it possible that you, I remember you have a view that you can put the scores together after you click submit. Um, is it possible that we can look at the uh, Clayton format transactions as well on one of the Explorer? Yes, yes. Yes, can. yes you can see the scores. Um, um, or if if you run uh, click the Runch app, um, we can vote for DAOs um, about uh, on based cultural transparency decentralization. But um, the DAO that can evaluate is uh, must be the DAO that is involved Jerex PT. Um, but in Clay in Clayton ecosystem, um, it can eva evaluate DAO. Is must must be in Jarex PT, but the score 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 uh, the viewer that can see the scores, um, in Clayton ecosystem, everyone can see the scores. So you can see the scores, or everyone in the Clayton ecosystem scores. Uh, people can see the scores everywhere. Yes. Great. Uh, thank you very much, um, uh, the uh, 0xSBT team right here. Um, do we have further questions from uh, other judge right here on the call? Uh, yes, I might have a question. Um, so hi, Choi. Uh, it was a very cool application. You have integrated with Twitter and all, and the badge is so cool. And it's, uh, of course, a potential and a good scoring system for the DAOs. So here I want to ask, how do you assess the credibility of the scoring DAO? Because uh, can I, if, I mean, can anyone join the DAO and give fake scores? Uh, oh, can, can I say about your question? Um, yes. Uh, first of all, we have a problem about this credibility um, related in evaluation DAOs. Um, so, um, I, I thought that our, our making DAO that is called it PDAO, um, it, it's involved, is uh, are comp comprised of many blockchain developers and the, um, the number is 26 developer, full stack developers. So mm -hmm. they are so, they are so many experience in the blockchain world, um, Solana and Ethereum or Clayton, something like that. Um, we we have Solana developer and Ethereum developer, Clayton developer, or something like this. So we have uh, many engineer engineers that is experienced for for um, many years. Um, so I I thought that first the first committee um, for evaluating the other DAOs um, mm -hmm. is becomes PDAO because we have experience in the we have many experience in block in the blockchain world but i i thought there is a little bit credibility um credit uh, credibility problem in their evaluating process so we we are finding the solution um to get the credibility 
uh, for our making pro our making protocol process in in now. So we are developing this solution ideas um, in now and yesterday. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good if we have um, something like that. And do you have a reward mechanism for this uh, scoring DAO as well? Do you have? Do I get any reward if I'm part of this uh, scoring DAO? Um, you say the criteria? No, uh, reward. So what is the reward? So what do I get out of it by scoring? You know, is there uh, a reward mechanism? A scoring mechanism? Uh, not scoring mechanism. Uh, reward, reward mechanism. So what, what do I get if I participate in this and if I vote and... Um, you know, vote for based on transparency and culture. So let's say I am a very experienced uh, developer. And if I want to join this DAO and huh? score the other DAO, so what huh? is the reward I get? Uh, um, I understand it. Um, we, um, the DAO that is involved in Jarex PT, um, if, if DAO, um, can if DAO participate in our JREX PT DAO, um, mm -hmm. the DAO, um, the DAO can can receive the reputation or Twitter functionality. As I said before, um, we are um, developing some functionalities for JREX PT DAO. Uh, they, uh, for example, they can transfer a meme token of their own DAO, and we also developed NFT related related utilities. If DAO can if thou creates its nft it can be connected to a chrome extension yes you know um so DAO members can recognize each other on twitter um this makes this makes um you know blockchain make making people or users um can can find and so many it can the special DAO in Jarex PT, so the DAO can make can receive the reputation in the blockchain world or um, expand their community on Twitter, something like that. Okay. So, oh yes, yeah, I got it, I got it. So I get a certificate as a badge, you know, so for being part of this. Yes, that that's why you use SBT as well, soul bound. Mm -hmm. Is it is it right? Mm -hmm. sure. Yes, this um. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yes. Thank you. It was oh. very nice. Thank you. Thank you for the efforts. Thanks. Thanks for questioning best answers. Great. Um, I think um, very quickly, I just want to say this one is, um, to be honest, it's a really solid um, submissions that we can see. Another one that we see uh, for the soulbound uh, tokens that you're having, you, you extend the KIP7 standard that we're having, even for your treasury, uh, I went through your code base, uh, fully integrated with the case warp as well. I think, I think which is which is quite nice, to be honest. Uh, but one thing I would just like to touch a point about, I, I saw one of the, uh, I think you have made some concept called the meme token. Uh, other than put it as a batch director, is there any uh, usage or use cases for the meme token that you put together other than the SBT uh, and, and treasury or voting that you're having? Um, um the, the meme token, yeah. I mean, about about this meme token. Uh, meme token utilities. Yes. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. First. Um. Our our first. First of all. Um. The SPT's utilities. Um. In Jarex PT. Um. Can make. Can make DAO in. Um. The Clayton ecosystem in our protocol. Uh. Because. Because um, Jarex PT and meme tokens can show the community culture. For example, our, our making PDAO um, um, are uh, is developing our meme token that is popping. Um, you um, our meme token that is called it popping. Um, we can we can make a bond in our community member uh, uh, both with. Our community members of uh, something like Doge, Doge coin or something like that, and as as the DAO becomes grow grow more grow, um, we can we can use the meme tokens for um, the rece received 
um, for the um sorry we can we can comp compensation tools yes meme to as by meme token so okay. as we okay i say i say i say we would as well so i think uh that will be partly answering uh tonya's questions right here other than the batch there should be some memes token uh you know going out uh, to the to the uh participant i mean based on the participation of the dao participants great uh i think uh chris very quickly do we have some questions uh from the communities that we have yeah so uh there's one question so for the zero x sbt uh what, what like what is the key differentiations to uh using the zero xbt's toolings compared with other similar uh projects or products um from i guess uh, it's from the user space uh like why like why they should use your uh protocol compared with others i guess it's like some benefits or uh, uh like uh, yeah the advantage compared with others yeah okay um you say uh, you want to uh, reason the, the difference compares uh, to other DAOs, right? Uh, other yeah. protocol, right? Uh, um, our SBT, I, I think our SBT utilities can make um, can make the member of member of the the DAO. You you is the member of DAO, something like that. Um, to link it to Twitter. Um, as I as I research it to another protocol um with without um many projects can cannot apply cannot uh don't don't apply um at the sns service service um that is called it twitter or instagram or something like that um, but we can connect the famous crypto crypto sns uh, twitter and we can link the twitter or telegram or something like that so we can we can um, point the people in Clayton DAO, a uh, Clayton DAO ecosystem. You are the member of uh, you are the member of the DAO in the in Jerex BT. So we can expand the DAO cultures in Clayton ecosystems. Uh, is it answer? Is it service? okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. G great. Great. I think I think Chris, we have everybody right here. Um. I think uh, today we just want to wrap up these sessions. Yeah, so uh, we are on to the second track. Uh, we have uh, two more tracks going up uh, next Monday and Tuesday, starting from 5 plus, then the Pop with Goose. Uh, but going back to this track, just want to say thank you very much for everybody for your participations right here. As you can see, uh, the the, uh, the finalists right here to present their projects, they're all uh, very, very quality. And I just want to say... Um, um, yeah, so thank you for your participation right here, and we would love to see more. Uh, uh, I mean, though we are in the winter uh, about the crypto, uh, but this is only for the crypto. We talk about the blockchain industry, uh, keep building will be the way forward. I uh, just want to say uh, again, thank you for your time. And uh, maybe over to Chris, uh, you would like to wrap this up as well. Yeah, uh, thanks, Neil. Thanks for everyone joining us uh, today. I, I believe this is really uh, impressed uh, sessions for. Uh, all the projects. Uh, I guess if any of the audience are interested uh, in trying out these amazing projects uh, or products, please feel free to do that. I think they are very happy to, uh, you know, engage uh, with the audience with with users as well. And just just like Neil mentioned, we will have two more sessions uh, in the next Monday and Tuesday about uh, five finance. Uh, DeFi and uh, uh, public goods. Uh, so uh, feel free to join uh, at that time if you are interested in any of uh, those topics. Uh, there will be more uh, amazing teams to join us and uh, demo themselves. So yeah, I guess that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys very much again for joining us. Hope you guys are all doing great in the future. Thank you, Thanks. everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.